Now, I just spoke to a girl in a cafe, a girl from Shanghai, and she has the most amazing business. She works from cafes, like me, but it's completely digital, like, she sells various sort of health products and things like that that are made in New Zealand, you know, New Zealand brands, and she sells it through the Chinese equivalent of WhatsApp, you know, the WhatsApp on your phone, the messaging thing, it's called WeChat, W-E-C-H-A-T, WeChat, and she just, people just communicate with her, talk to her, order, they pay on the phone, she, you know, sends it through to people that, like, sort out all the fulfillment, like, like, what kind of world are we living in? Like, that's just mind-blowing. You know, these tiny little niches like that. Unbelievable. I have just stopped along the workshop to explain a little idea I had to you. Now, do you remember I was in here, the new workshop, or going to be the workshop we're moving into anyway, I was explaining that we need to put the water jet cutter right over there, and that it needs to be sealed off. And I, and I just mentioned briefly that we'd probably be doing it, you know, with like, I don't know, like bits of wood and seal it in and a door and stuff like that. It's, you know, it's, it's not cheap, it's gonna take a long time, it's, it's, you know, we want to do it right. But, I was thinking, like, hear me out here, may sound crazy, but, why does it need to be wood? I mean, the sole purpose is just to keep the grit from going out, like, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't blast out or anything. It's just like, it just floats around in the atmosphere and over, you know, hundreds of hours, you get this layer of grit everywhere. So, it's just to stop that. And the other thing is, you know, there could be a bit of water spraying, so it doesn't need to be so enclosed so hard. There's no, there's no, you know, there's nothing else really. It's not like it's a grinding room where there's gonna be blackness everywhere. So what I thought is, I'll try and explain this to you, but, whoa, tripping up there. What I thought is, we could just do a gazebo, just like this. Does that make sense? Like, the kind of thing you go outside in the summer and have a barbecue and uh, a beer and things like that in, you know, like, it, I mean, why not? It's, you know, it will be waterproof, it will have a roof, we can put it up, we can take it down, if we need to move, we can move it around. Like, why isn't that a good idea? I, that's where I'm at right now, gazebo. Um, yeah, so that's all I wanted to talk about. I thought it was quite a clever solution. So, yeah. The other thing I want to talk with you about, very briefly, is this. Now, let's see if we can get the, right, the light right on this. So you look at that. So that is, this is a titanium bottle opener, of course. As I call it the scalper. And the difference with this one is that it's got a very, very good polish on it. I've never managed to get a polish this good before. Uh, hopefully you can see you see that kind of glinting there. The light's not that great, but you know this should give you an idea of, of what it's like. Now, there we go. Look at that. So it's that is that is close to being a mirror polish, very close. And I've just scratched it to hell by dropping it on the concrete. Anyway. This is actually a test piece from, you know the tumbler I talked about the other day, the, you know, the vibratory tumbler? This was um, something they, they did. Now it's not a mirror mirror finish, it's very close. It's a work in progress, but I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update to say like, I'm getting ever closer to, to getting the mirror polish that I'm after. I've been after it for like, since I was born. Like, it feels like that. But, I can do a semi-polish on the titanium pen and the titanium mechanical pencil, but it's not a full polish. Hopefully with this new machine and, I, you know, uh, and the way it's set up, I can, I can do that down the line. So yeah, thought, thought I'd give you that update as well.